Next, we'll be reviewing research study designs, starting off with randomized controlled trials. This is a clinical study with randomized samples. This is best in determining if a medication is beneficial or not, and the best trial to see if a medication actually works or not. Then we have cohort study. This is where a group or cohort of people share a common trait. Clinical, treat clinical treatment trials are usually cohort studies. Case control study. This is where you look back on cases that already had outcomes and compare their risk factors to people who did not have that outcome. Cross-sectional study. This checks the presence of a disease or event at only one point in time. Crossover study. A paired group where they take control then they cross over to the experimental. So an example of this is the controlled group, and then they they take a placebo or whatever it is, and then they would then cross over to the experimental side, which is, in this case, could be taking a new medication or a new treatment. So when reviewing research of the study designs, you could see here that the quality of information matters. So we like to put it in a pyramid, where you could see the quality of information at the top is meta-analysis, which is several studies combined into one and summarized into one, then systemic review, and then randomized control trials, and then so forth. So you could see here on the NAPLEX, if you're given which of these study designs is the most reliable, then you could use the meta-analysis. That would be the answer or systemic review, it would just depend on the answer choices. Intent to treat analysis versus per protocol analysis. The intent to treat analysis, this collects data from everyone regardless if they had dropped out of the study or not. The per protocol analysis collects data from only people who follow through. So the difference between these is intent to treat they are going to use data from everyone who joined the study, while in the per protocol analysis, they only collect the data from participants who followed the directions thoroughly. For a meta-analysis or systemic review, this is where you obtain results from several studies and come to a conclusion. It is objective and quantitative.